So the question is how can we be a less violent society and the title of the book is Curing Violence and the, my focus in the essay that I wrote for the book was on hate crimes, uh, who experiences hate crimes, what motivates them uh, and of course crucially what we can do about them. Uh, and uh, the, key, the thing I was keen to get across was that hate crimes were not just about law enforcement, about catching people, about giving them long sentences. It was also about understanding that some of the victims of hate crimes, uh, some uh, people from ethnic minority groups, people with learning disabilities, uh, trans people, lesbian and gay men, uh, are often very vulnerable and that is part of why they have that experience. Not because of their uh, protected characteristic, if I can call it that, but because of the, uh, their situation, their social and economic circumstances, uh, and uh, we needed to do more if we wanted to uh, reduce and perhaps even eradicate this form of violence to ensure that those people uh, lived full community lives and were engaged in all aspects of civil society and civic life and not, didn't just have to rely on the law enforcement agencies after the fact. So what I was seeking to argue was that the response and the solution to hate crimes was not simply catching people and locking them up for a long time, but to change the way that we support and protect and look after the people who are vulnerable to these kinds of crimes uh, and to ensure that they got the support that prevented them at these incidents uh, of hate and intolerance in the first place rather than having to rely on law enforcement. So I was, I was arguing that this was a social phenomenon and a social problem and needed a social response as well as a criminal justice response.